In this video, I am going to give you a bit of motivation why you should study symmetries and group theory by introducing you to some elementary particles. So let's start the story. Ever since ancient times, scientists and philosophers had dreamed about describing the fundamental nature of the universe. Some even said that all matter consists of tiny pieces called atoms, which was proved to be right in 20th century. But scientists discovered that each atom could be divided further. Each atom consists of a nucleus in the middle and electrons orbiting it. The nucleus in turn consists of protons and neutrons. And then protons and neutrons are built of elementary particles called quarks. The physicist who invented these particles, Gelman, borrowed this name quark from James Joyce's book Finnegar Wake where there is a mock poem that goes like this three quarks for master mark sure he hasn't got much of a and sure any he has it's all beside the mark i did not get the essence of this poem but sure you'll get the essence of the quarks according to gelman there are two different types of quarks up and down and a mixture of them give neutrons and protons their characteristics a neutron is made of two down and one up quark and a proton is made of two up and one down quark. That was clear enough. But how physicists came to know that protons and neutrons were not indivisible particles but rather were built from smaller blocks that is quarks. By the late 1950s, a large number of elementary particles was discovered. These particles were called hadrons. Hadrons are the particles which interact through strong nuclear force. Neutrons and protons are both hadrons and of course they play a major role in everyday life as the building blocks of the matter. As the rest of the hadrons, well, no one had any idea what they existed for. There were so many particles that influential physicist Wolfgang Pauli joked that physics was turning into botany. So it was like we have so many elements to so to understand and study them we classify them in groups and periods which is known to all as periodic table and we can classify those elementary particles also Gelman and independently Yuval Neyman proposed a classification scheme they both showed that hadrons can be naturally split into two small families each consisting of 8 or 10 particles. They call them octets and decuplets. Particles within each of the families had similar properties. In octet diagram, the proton is marked as P, the neutron is marked as N and there are 6 other particles with a strange name expressed by Greek letters. Now question arises, why the families of 8 and 10? and not 7 and 11, how Gelman came to know about these classifications. Some would mention a mysterious idea of Gelman called the Eightfold Way, referencing the noble Eightfold Path of Buddha. So I'll give you a glimpse of how these particles are classified. Gelman predicted quarks using a beautiful mathematical theory. It was in fact a mathematical discovery. The first thing you need to learn is the concept of symmetry group. That's the main idea. Concept of symmetry is the key to the discovery of quarks. A large part of mathematics as well as theoretical physics is based on it. So now you know why we should study group theory and symmetries. That is to find the very fundamentals of nature. In the next video, we will understand the concept of symmetry and how symmetry helped Gelman and Neyman to discover the quarks. So see you in the next video.